Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, Orzhov Control. So, uh, this is another one of those decks I, I have been trying to put off for a long time. And now that I ran out of you know new deck ideas, I came back to Orzhov Control to see how it shapes up in the current metagame. And, well, how does this deck actually win? It's just removal of the deck. We got a lot of removal early, we got boar wipes later, and to win, we have two big win con. One is Kaya, the Intangible Slayer. We're just gonna keep uh, gaining life, making our opponent lose life, or exiling their enchantments or creatures, and uh, you know, exiling their uh, Shieldred and get our own Shieldred. That's usually pretty good. Or we outrageous robbery them and we just take their entire deck. So that's our slow win con. In the meantime, everything else is just removal, 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 removal. So how much removal are we gonna have? In turn one, we're gonna have three Elspeth Smite and three Cut Down. That's already a lot of removal. I couldn't figure out which one is better, so I don't have a 4-2 split. Split Instead, I have a 3-3. Three, three. Since if our opponent's aggro, Elspeth Smite is gonna be very good. And if our opponent is a little bit more tempo heavy, Cut Down might be better. Uh, and so that's that's kind of the split. Uh, we also have then in turn two four get lost and four go for the throw. You got planeswalkers, enchantments, creatures. It's gone. You got non artifact creatures. It's gone and you don't get a map. So that's the, these are uh, a lot of removal on turn two. I'm gonna move this to the side for a second here and talk about turn three play because we have two make your move and two temporary lockdown. Now in the older versions, I think I would probably run four lockdowns, but the uh, the Convoke deck has just been blown out of water by this stupid uh, mouse flinging deck, so there's not that many Convokes out there. Temporary Lockdown doesn't hit as hard. It still hits. It still hits pretty hard against most aggro decks, but it doesn't hit as hard and we have a lot of removal. So by the time we're playing Temporary Lockdown, chances are our opponent really has one or two creatures, so this will be a one for two uh, in most scenario, and that isn't that great. So we uh, change that up with Make Your Move. This can kill a Shieldred, this can kill uh, any talent, this can kill a Forge, this can kill anything that we currently struggle with in the control meta uh, against aggro decks on standard. So Make Your Move kills artifacts, enchantments, or a creature with power 4 or greater. And then we get to uh, here uh, in the 5 drops. We don't have 4 drops here, no 4 drops, just 5 drops. For Sunfall, 4 Deadly Cover-Up. You got a white board, they're gone. You got cards in your graveyard, they're gone. You got cards in your deck, we're gonna look through them, and then uh, they're gone. So that's kind of the idea of our, our boar wipe centered deck. Now we have an additional few 2 drops that we can play in Seize and Desist to exile 2 target cards from a single graveyard, and uh, that player gains... Uh, so our target player gains two life and draw a card. So we're gonna obviously target ourselves while uh, exiling two cards from our opponent's graveyard. And we have virtual persistence. Target creature gets minus three, minus three, and we gain two life. Right. So th these are the cards that we can play on turn two if we need to for their various effects or just just for cycling for a card draw. That also works. But don't forget, right? If our opponent's graveyard centric, this also gets to them. But we have the back side of that, or not really, the, the, the other side of that in the Sis. This for all artifacts and enchantments. Opponents playing one of those crazy enchantment decks with a bunch of talents or a crazy artifact deck that has a bunch of uh, constructs. We can blow them all up with this. And then Virtue Persistence, we can cast a 7 mana side and just keep bringing our opponent's creatures back. We don't have any creatures in our deck, so that's why there's only 2 Virtue in this deck. It's not really the, our win con, it's just there to threaten. After we use the Lockwind uh, Scorn side, our opponent's always worried about us slamming a Virtue, where we're not really going to do that, we're just going to hold back and uh, wait for our actual win con. So the actual win con, 7 mana, Kaya, Intangible Slayer, and then uh, a 2 Outrageous Robbery, which is... Typically, we're gonna cast for seven mana to look at their whole deck. Well, not look at the whole deck. They look at the top five cards. Well, actually, we just steal all five, uh, top five cards. So that's pretty good. One thing I did learn today with Outrageous Robbery is that if you take a spree card, you don't have to pay the spree mana uh, with the color mana. You can pay any color. So because spree counts as part of the mana cost. He says you may spend mana as though there were mana of any color to cast it, and spree is part of casting it, so that would be any color. So if you take it three steps ahead, you don't have to pay the uh, blue, you can just pay the colorless. So Outreach Robbery just got better. All right, and then the land base. The land base we're gonna have two planks, two swamps, four concealed courtyard, 
four Shadowy Backstreet, and I only have two Restless Fortress because I wanted to slot in four Sunken Citadel because we have a lot of utility lands. The utility lands that we're going to have, four Demo Field and four Fountain Pour. If our opponent has man lands that we, we got to get rid of, or if they're opposing Fountain Pour, we can kill it with Demolition Field, and then uh, we can then get use our own Fountain Pour to get us almost infinite value. Don't forget, Fountain Pour isn't just make fish and draw cards. Fountain Pour can also get us treasures. We got seven drops in the deck. Treasures are going to be very important. And we can also use treasure, uh, you know, at some point to add to the outrageous robbery. So yeah, Orzhov Control. Very fun deck. Let's go into the games. All right. Our first opponent is Mestnanga. I, sure. <laughs> I can't read that. Let's go. Um, two go for the throw. One get lost. And a Kaya. Very late into the game. Oh, well, well, be useful very late into the game. Are they frogs? Nobody plays frogs. So, what are they? They are kind of robust. That's what they are. So, consider that on white. They have a hidden nursery. A hidden nursery? Oh, okay, I might want to go for the throw, right? Up the beanstalk. We just get lost the beanstalk, right? Forgotten monument. You know, this is a cave deck. What hell did I fall into? With <sighs> Shadow Backstreet is probably pretty good too. Help me filter my next draw. All right. Just only land draws. That's no fun. Promising thing. Yeah, it's a cave deck. Interesting. What fresh hell did I put myself into with this? I mean, all I have is anti-creatures, and I only face, you know, non-creature decks. And then when I have, and when I cut out the anti-creature cards, I'm just gonna face all this red aggro. Kill it. Another backstreet? I could be a backstreet boy. I will be a backstreet boy. Elspeth Smite. That definitely does not hit the 5-5s five in their deck. They have a Cavernous Maul. So they can turn this into a 3-3. If that's what they want to do. I mean, I guess Elspeth Smite hits the Cavernous Maul, but... I don't think he's ever going to turn that into a creature to attack us. No way, right? That's that's not a good choice. We are bound to remove his creatures. Unfortunately, I think our own richest robbery are not going to rob anything against this deck. Okay. I was wrong. Not that it would matter because it was next turn. Is it not an artifact, right? Elemental creature, yeah, it's not an artifact. Alright, he just let me out beat him. And then I have a found for it. That's pretty nice. Seed of Hope. What do you mill? Cash grab and a captivating cave. 2 plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature, activate as a sorcery. Uh, okay. Mestnag game plays an elemental. Let's get a treasure. I'm gonna go with my turn. Play a Sunken Citadel this time on black, maybe? 
Yeah. I'm black. Black is fine. I'm just Kaya this. I don't think he has haste creatures, right? He has five mana. I don't think he has haste creatures, and Kaya has next group. But maybe he has Borwise or something, but uh. <laughs> I was expecting a more impressive enemy. That's it. You gotta go. <laughs> we just get a 1 1. Don't, I mean, he does have that Forgotten Monument, so he can... If he has Brotherhood's End, he can do it right here. And I would have gotten got from a Brotherhood's End. Oh, it's like a Brotherhood's End. I, X damage each I creature, each player, it. where X is the number of caves you control, plus the number of caves in your graveyard. Well, I was not expecting that at all. Sorry, Kaya. Uh, what do I exile if I deadly cover up here? His Beanstalk? Probably his Beanstalk, right? He has a lot of cave synergies, but I think I need to take out the Beanstalk. Not too late. Okay, he's got a Tolarian Terror. Draws another card. I can get one, two, three, four, five. I can get five cards from him. Do that. Give me five of your cards. Uh, not great cards. I can cavernous maul. Annoying with affliction also isn't that great. I, I deadly cover up this. Get rid of. What do I get rid of here? Each number of caves in your graveyard. It wants to tap my fountain port, which is weird, right? Definitely don't want it to tap my fountain port. So I'll play another one. That way I keep one open. Yeah, it's, I think it's fine. Alright, let's start exiling. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, what do I take out here? Terror? There's a lot of caves, but I already took care of his cavernous wall malls. So yeah, I just take the terror. Oh. Looks like you got a lot of those terrors going on here. That's a funny deck, I gotta say. It's not necessarily bad. Right? I don't know. He did you know, make me use up all of my cards and he still had up the beanstalk. And a second of the beanstalk. Now I can play the hearth. See how he wants to do this. Draws two cards. It's pretty good. I just don't think my deck can do what I needed to do. Mana value three or less. He doesn't have that at all. Uh, okay, before I go to my turn, let's make a treasure. No point making a fish. Making a treasure can also get sacked. You can discover four. That's pretty good, right? The number of caves you control is three or greater. Do I have three? One. Are these caves? Yeah, I, I, those are caves too. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's going on with this game. It's like I'm playing against a, a, a busted limited deck. But hey, all you need to do is get lucky with up the beanstalk. Four. I mean, I, I could take four. I could just make a fish and block it. I gotta take one. It's not trample. If he wants to use a kill spell on my fish, that's not too bad. 
Yeah, he goes out of his way to kill the fish. That's not too bad. I draw a cut down. That's pretty bad. Okay. I, I don't think I want to kill the hearth element. Four damage is not the end of the world. He's going to plus it. Only has a sorcery. He can't add. He does have another cavern's maul. He draws a lot of cards this way. Yeah, I got nothing. Smite. Does Smite do anything here? I don't think so either. Captivating K. Oh, he has 19 cards, right? I just gotta survive. Pretty sure he wants to keep that. 5 6 is where it gets scary. Um, would he kill my Cavernous Maul? Gotta put it in full control. Huh? I think after blockers, right? We're gonna name two blocks. And then we will sacrifice this token to draw a card. I draw a land. Uh, I gotta go to full control, I think. Is it, oh no, that's not full control. This is full control. Passive advantage, go back to full control, and then I'll kill your leech. Right? I think that works. I don't need full control anymore. Cash grab. You sure you want to keep milling your own cards? You're down to 15 cards. And every spell you play is three cards. So, alright, there's three cards. Go to my turn. Make your move. That's technically a removal, right? We're just going to draw this out. Weird game. I got to commend our opponent for playing a different deck. Not one I was expecting. Really? You sure you want that? That's... You're down to 11 cards. You're going to deck yourself out. I think our opponent forgot to look at how many cards is left in his deck. Okay. This is eight cards. Technically eight cards is eight turns, right? So what does it do? Put two plus one counter on it? Oh, let's get rid of that while we can. No malls for you. Okay, 
so make a fish block here declare one blocker and sack the fish draw a card it's a demo field that's a little late all right and then we make our we make our move no i think this, this is better right it's more mana efficient my turn now he's got to discard he's drawn too many cards I definitely don't want to discover four because uh, I have a lot of cards in the deck that discover four does not help. This could have helped a little bit earlier, but now I want him to have the up the being stock. Nursery, nursery. So this turn might get a little risky. Maybe I just block with this cavernous mall. You know, I think I have more board wipes in the deck. There's at least three more devil cover ups. Captivating cave. Yeah, you got it. Doesn't let me block. Let me draw a car. Okay. You lost the other one. You killed his mall. Good job. And then he quits. Cause he's out of cards. GG. I mean, this is what the control deck does, right? Run them out of cards. All right, our opponent is Skrun John. Opponent goes first. How dare you, Skrun John? Let me go first. <laughs> uh, it's not a great hand, but it's also a hand I don't want to pitch. I have early game sort of interaction. I do have a make your move. Alright, great. Skeletons. Skeleton warrior. Against skeletons, I don't know if Seize Desist hits anything. It definitely does hit their, like, the. It definitely hits their little thing that uh, keeps bringing the skeletons back, but, you know. I'm not sure if that's worth it. But if he puts this in the graveyard. I'll seize and seize it. Seize and deceive this this it. Oh it actually is just seize, right? Alright, he's letting it go exile so he can cast another spell. What else is he casting here? He's not casting anything. Well, I have a concealed courtyard for you. Skeleton aggro. It's always the aggressive players that I wrote. It's, it's mono black. They have something, a uh, rat owl. So we can have a rat. Okay, they do have something, that was weird. Conduit? How scary am I for the rat, rat owl? I don't think I want to season. I, I don't think I want to keep season assist here. It does get rid of cards in their graveyard, but I don't think I have time. What does this do? One one rat. Another creature. If you do scry, and then draw a card. All right, he's gonna sack his own rats to draw a card. I guess they can do that. I don't know what the pylon's doing here. I definitely don't want to demo feel a pile on it. It doesn't feel very useful. He's 
guys too. I will draw a card. I draw a cut down. That's pretty good. A sufficiently useful card. Do I draw the demo field to threaten him? Yeah, I, I think so. If he plays any land here that's useful, I will demo field it and still have cut down. Otherwise, I will just cut down. I'll take two from Lois Skitter's Butcher. When it attacks, exile target card from a graveyard, huh? I don't want that to happen, but... Which one do I get rid of? This has Unearth, so get rid of this. Exalt target car from a graveyard. I got season to season. I don't want him to hit that. But would he hit that? Creature and enchantment with power four creator. Okay. So we go past to attack. Can we cut it down? I mean, I, I said I would just take two, right? But do I cut down the Ashnell's Harvester? You know what? I'll take the damage. It's just two. We'll go to my turn here. I don't have to do anything. I could... Uh, I could kill the Harvester, right? I mean, it's just... Playing on curve. What am I doing next turn after I kill the Harvester? Yeah, I'm not doing anything next turn. Even if I kill the Harvester. So I'm gonna play a Fountain Floor. This is enough mana for both make your move and cut down. And in turn after that I can deadly cover up if he has a wide board that I need to get rid of. No I'm vermin. He's gonna mill himself too. Yeah. Ooh, Lord Butchers all in a graveyard. Uh, he's gonna exile a car from my graveyard. I don't care about that. Season the sis. I think he wants to play something, right? Do I even make a fish here? I make a fish, it just dies. Our opponent is down to two cards. This is just when it... Yeah. When it enters, it does the mill. He's down to two cards. I have six lands. And with Fountain Pour, I basically I get a lot of treasure later on. And... Deadly Cover Up cleans up his board. So... Yeah. I mean, it is annoying that he gets rid of one big card that I can use to discover or uh, not collect evidence. But uh, I, I could have killed the Ashnaw's Harvester. Hello. Our opponent's dead now. Okay, so I could have killed the Ashnaw's Harvester. Uh, and then he won't be able to get rid of that. But that's getting rid of the value in my hand for no reason. Since this is not really that much damage. He dealt 5 damage. I'm still at 14. So he dealt a quarter of my life. Uh, and uh, his his cards are gone. I think he's just salty that he, he's kind of out of the game. All right, so finally he's out. Do I want to make a fish? I, I guess the the answer is no. Another fountain pour. All right, we'll just no. Let's not drop another fountain. We drop another fountain pour. I will drop another fountain pour. I guess. Just gotta cover up this board. He could unearth the uh, Harvester to deal 3 damage to me. That's, you know, I'm at 14. He's not a Harvester. He's gonna unearth his Harvester. Yeah. What? Yo. I don't think that's correct. Is this a Harvester deck? I get a, no a lot of Fountain Ports, so... I think I do uh, Citadel this turn though. Let's put this on black. Don't need as much white mana as I need black right now. Let's put it on white. I have a uh, swamp in my hand. Of 
corpse of the lost. He does make a skeleton. Wait till we go into combat. Kill your corpse of the lost. And we'll cut down this harvester. There we go. He doesn't have haste anymore. And Kaya can give us life. Oh, Kaya, the giver of life. Basically, a pro at saving the world by now. I could make a copy of a one-one skeleton. So I'll have a one-one. He can kind of charge through and kill it with the uh, Corpse of the Lost if he has another one. But I get rid of his one creature on board. If it's a, wasn't an aura, create a token as a copy of it, except the spirit. No, I, I don't, I don't think I do that. He's not getting alive here. That's just a start. Him dealing eight damage. Let's see if we can do it. Unearth. I think he could do it. No, nope, not if you go into combat like this. You can deal 5 damage to Kaya. But then his Ashenos Harvester goes away. Yeah. Time to focus up. I think this was the best way to keep my board threatening. Now the board is still threatening. I can draw 2 cards. And then they scry 1. Yeah, let's do that. I don't move without knowing my target. Do I need all this mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't think I need all this mana. So I need two mana for get lost. And then four mana for fountain pour. At most. Let's put this out there. I already have one on, uh, one on white. Let's put one on black. See what he has? Is he just gonna attack Kaya for two? That Kaya can take two. Lucky hit. And then a harvester? Jeez, he just has a bunch of those harvesters. Alright, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's five. I changed my plan because he didn't have anything, so I'm gonna steal from his deck. I still want to play this out. I, I still have a Kai in my hand. I, of course, he doesn't know that. I uh, gotta be careful with corpse, right? This is uh, returning to his owner's hand. Actually, it just says you may. This is I have to. Conscript into the battlefield tap. Miner can't block. That's just the swamp. So, none of those are that great. We just draw two more cards. They could describe one, but I draw two cards. I'll keep watch. Okay. Uh, do I want the back street here just to see what, I, what my next draw is? I also get the scry one. Mine's a surveil. Oh, that's a good draw. Okay. Uh, I can't really. I really want to tap my fountain port. Do I need both fountain ports? Of the loss. This guy can block. Uh, how much mana do I have? So, four for a blocker. Pile on. Sack this to draw a card. 
You get the virtue. So he's gonna try to kill Kaya, right? He doesn't know that I have another Kaya. So both have to attack Kaya to kill Kaya, and then I have another one. So good luck with that. We were so close. Were we? Take a fish. I mean, I feel like I'm picking the you know, toy one by boots, kind of. Uh, let's get rid of that harvester. Is he gonna kill his harvester in response to get rid of the boots? He didn't do it. He had a chance to do that. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the corpse. I'll draw a card. I don't want to play the conscript because it goes in his graveyard. So I, it's just a lot of cards I stole from him that I actually don't want to use, right? So how much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Thirty-five to thirty-six. We're not that far off. Uh, nope. Decline. I'm not returning it back to your hand. <laughs> this this card is dumb. Like stealing this card is dumb. This card is not bad for skeleton aggro. But our opponent, I don't know why. It's an aggro deck. This is like turn twenty something. I'm still at seventeen, so they virtually stand no chance. Fast to block, I block you. I sack it for more card advantage. Okay, go for the throw. More removal on his creatures. Pass the damage. And I make a fish. At the end turn, I go to 16. I don't know how much mana I have now. I, I don't want to count. I'm too lazy to do that. So let's just do another Kaya, see if he quits. At this point, he should quit, right? I can't stand by when evil threatens the multiverse. Just give up already. Yeah, that that. Come on. Just give up already. I didn't even play my virtue. Okay, I'm not playing against a bot. Feels like a bot. Either a bot or a very persistent player that thinks that he still has a chance. Did I block? I feel like I blocked, right? I don't, I don't even remember this game has gone on so long. There, I did block. It fizzled. Do I just kill him with the... I mean, yeah. I'll kill this too. Just to be more mana efficient. Even at this point. I'll kill him with Kaya. It will keep dealing damage till he's dead. Kaya doesn't have any ults, so... Oh, there he goes. GG. Long drawn out game, but we still won in the end. Alright, our opponent is Bear Man. Yeah, you're a cat though. We're gonna go first. Again with this? Alright, I guess we'll name Black. The only white spells get lost right now. Red. Our fire hero. to it.
Uh, Swiss Spear? This is exactly the same thing that happened last game. No, there's two Swiss Spears now. I mean, I got a lot of cutdowns. Can I afford to wait for a cutdown with the prowess on the trigger? Don't know, man. That's this feels so bad. It's two demo feels. Yeah, of course. We only hope that all he has is pump spells. Let me get a creature, but it, then he himself will be tapped. And turn. The rest is fortress, that is what I mean. Nothing? Okay. Robbery? Okay, I just I'll just rob you. Our opponent's getting flooded. That makes me happy. Let me take three cards from you. Maybe they're gonna be your creatures. Please don't be three lands. Come on, red creatures. Wow. I said please don't be three lands, so they gave me two lands. And a lightning strike. Lightning strike is okay, I guess. Swiss here. How many buffs will he have? I'm not gonna block it. That would kill my restless fortress for no reason. Shock me? No. I kill your Swiss spear. Now would you like to respond to that? No. Just the two damage? Sunfall. But go in with the rest of Fortress. I'm gonna play a planes here. Yeah, I might as well. Can he deal four damage? If he can, it's a little bit of life gain. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another hard challenger. Monster's rage gets the prowess triggers anyway, so might as well let him have this. There's a slick shot. Shocks me. You get the map token. And I take three. That's a lot of damage. Not gonna lie. But now I'm fixing to get rid of that damage. Right, this is okay. This is the best way to go about it. Is this the best way to go about it? Yeah, keep the mountain untapped. I definitely need the mountain for some reason. No. I need the two black. I need the two black, man. So let's deadly cover up. One, two, three. Oh, it's exactly six. I'm not as afraid of the slick shot as I am the Ember Heart because it gives him value. So let's get rid of that. There's a Lightning Strike. No more Ember Heart. Mouse deck. Yeah, normal stuff. I 
play, play make your move, but there's nothing for me to make my move on. Yo. What a top deck. You kidding me right now? Good thing I have Sunfall or I'd be really far behind right now. At least the map token only gave him lands. What is this top deck? It's gonna be a ruckus. Alright, no haste. No haste. Another land. Another pointless land. So, one, two, three, four, five. Right, that's the only way I can get the white mana for the sunfall. Now I have a 2 2. And you have a dead ruckus. Doesn't he want to plot his ruckus? Hi, right, GG. We killed all his creatures. It's the whole point of this deck. Alright, our opponent is Iron Dagan. He's very iron, but we get to go first. Eh, it looks like. Huh, is it a combo deck? If it's a combo deck, does this hand work? Sunfall doesn't really work against that. Kaya? Definitely doesn't work. I have one get lost. Alright, let's. They're, they may not be combo, right? There's just because they have a Rakdos thing does not guarantee that they are a combo. They're red. Red heroes. Alright, I already don't want to play this out. Ugh. Another one of these opponents. Just pump everything into a hardfire hero. See what happens. Ember Heart Challenger. This will take three. That was spell Smite. That's pretty important. Jagged. There's a pump spell. I mean, he gets it anyway. Play a sword. Yeah, he's gonna play a sword. Uh, okay. So I can't get rid of it because he's somehow got me with his sorcery speed plays. Um, he draws a card. He does draw a card. I have to let him draw a card, but I will kill both of his creatures. More creatures to demo field. I do have a sunfall next turn. That's something that could happen. Ember Heart Challenger. Swiss Fear. Okay. So I take one instead of two? I think that's worth it. Just lands. We're playing just lands the game. Alright, here's a sunfall. I'll get a 2 2 token. They probably have more creatures to fling at me. Yep. But now they have a slick shot. And they can pump it, and I'll go down to very low. I need a top deck of removal, right? Otherwise, I don't think I have anything. They even have a ruckus. So that's 4 damage, I go to 10. What kind of removal can I get? I did fill this deck full of removal here, but uh... It was not top deck. Did lightning strike me? Do I have a cut down? Would a cut down even work? Just have to do it. No, 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 no. Do I even need to tap this? Actually, I can't even play Kaya with the mana that I have, which is kind of sad. Uh, 
tap this, tap this, sack a token, draw a card. Could be a could be a cut down, right? Let's go for the throw. Alright. So what happens? Got a kill. And then I gotta wait more turns to play Kaya because of all this. I think that's all of them, right? I have four. Actually, no. I have four found four and four demo field. Alright, uh, he's really mad, so he's lightning striking me. I gotta get lost. It's potentially something. Shocked me for two. It's got nothing. So one, two, three. If I use one, I would have uh, just enough mana. All right, let's get a white mana. Scrape out of this. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And then we get a treasure. It's just enough to do all this. So that I can. Intangible virtue. And even then. This is no guarantee. Your time's almost up. And a five of these draws a slick shot can still kill me. Manifold mouse. Okay. This is fantastic. This is gonna do crap. No haste for him. Double strike, trample. Yeah, that's fine. Manifold Mouse is good only if you have a mouse that can attack. Otherwise, it's a dead draw. And what luck did I have it that I had a temporary lockdown of all cards. Get rid of all things on your board. And I GG him. Take that. Just give up already. Take that embarrassment and eat it. Jagged Baron for one. Mm. I'm even gonna hit myself for one without getting life. Mm, your time's almost done. This doesn't sell you the clock at all, so. Hold up as a blocker. Aha! Get out of here. GG, Mono Red. Stop playing your stupid deck. Welcome back, everyone. Now that you see all those games, how did it feel? Uh, this was actually a rather successful day. I play six games. I won four of them. So four out of six is 66% win rate for this deck, which I think is pretty good for a control deck. Uh, I, I didn't lose to a red deck. That's what's important because that why well, I made this deck to just a counter red, right? We got Elspeth Smite. We got Cut Down. We got Get Lost. We got Go For The Throw. If they are aggro, we will kill their stuff. Now, one thing I did forget in one of the games, I thought make your move was for toughness. It's not. It's for power. It's not a, what's the other one called? The, the destroy evil, right? This is for power. So if your opponent's pumping a creature to very big, uh, like a mono red deck and pumps a creature to very big power, you can kill it with make your move as well. So this is actually an anti-aggro deck uh, when you think about it. So yeah, this whole deck works extremely well. In the current metagame, there's a few things that I would probably adjust. Um, yeah, uh, let's let's talk about those. So demo feel great, but I might cut one or two. I feel like I was really color locked in a lot of these games, so I might want to have uh, two more restless fortress to get the proper color feel. I do have twenty six lands, which I, I think is necessary for a control deck. Some people run twenty seven, which I mean you can do that if you cut a season assist, but I think twenty six is enough. I'm not really mana short at any point. Uh, what I am missing are card draw for this deck, and unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to slot in a card draw for this deck that could work uh 
now now that Celestis has rotated out, well, it actually rotated out for a while, but because there's no Celestis, uh, there's not really any good card draw for this deck outside of the Fountain Pour, but I think that should be just fine, right? The deck really just stalls like crazy. We don't need card draw, we just gotta make sure that we're killing all of our opponent stuff, because nobody's really playing control on, on the opposite side. Everybody's playing aggro or tempo or mid-range, and all you have to do is get rid of their creatures, and as long as they don't have value, eventually we get our value. That's the idea of this deck. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.